my channel the transparent homeschool my name is Beth today I'm bringing you a very lovely video about all of the books all of the books that I have for next year the 2024 2025 homeschool year it'll be our seventh year homeschooling and I am excited to share with you our read aloud books that we're doing as a family the assigned readers for my daughter and the assigned books for my son and I guess a few of the little books that I have for my uh, my daughter who will be in kindergarten. I used to let my children read whatever they wanted to from um, our collection but I think it's time that I start buying books that I want them to read that way I know one they're getting variety two that they're actually reading it. I have books for my son that I've chosen for him, books for my daughter that I've chosen for her, and books for my um, upcoming kindergartner that she and I will read together. But before I show you all of our books hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any future homeschooling videos. Okay, are you ready to see my books? Because I'm ready to show you guys. They're so exciting. <sighs> anyway, the first ones I have to show you are the Chronicles of Narnia. I have all of the physical books here. Uh, they have been well loved. I've read them multiple times. These have actually been with me since uh, middle school. Um, they came with me when I went to college and I read them there. They came with me uh, when I got married and I have read them multiple times since. However, I have never read the entire series to my children. I am so excited that they are finally old enough, I think, to really, really enjoy them. I waited till my son was about 10 and my daughter was, you know, close to that age as well so that they could really understand it and, um, it's actually funny, my husband was really sad that he's missing out on these read-alouds. So what we're doing instead is we will read like our other read-aloud during the day when he's at work. At home, after dinner, but before bedtime, we bought all of these on audiobook. And so we will read them, or I guess listen to them as a family at night. I have the physical copies just because I've always had them. But I will have it lying around, like depending on what, what book we're on. That way um, the kids can um, either follow along or they can look at some of the illustrations in here. There's not too many illustrations, but I will just keep this out so that they can look at it. So this is, we will go through the whole series of the Chronicles of Narnia. The next one I have is this series here. So my side of the mountain, on the other side of the mountain, and Frightful's Mountain. So this is a trilogy. We're gonna. Uh, go through those. A Dolphin Named Bob, Viking Adventure, The Cricket in Times Square. The next one that we are going to be reading is Little House in the Big Woods. I know what you're thinking. You've been homeschooling for seven years and you've never read the series? No, I haven't. Which makes me an outcast, I know. I know. But we are starting to read it now. I only have the first book. If we like this first book, I will get the second book and we will read that. If they like the first two books, I'll buy the rest of the series and then either I will read them as a read aloud or I will let them read um, read them as we go along. This one has colored pictures, which I'm really excited about. So, okay, we're starting this. The Beatiness Boy and the Rightful Owner. These are both by the same author. The Lumber Camp Library. Cabin on Trouble Creek. I bought this at a library sale, obviously, um, so that should be good. What are you figuring now? This is a book about Benjamin Benneker. Um, I kind of wanted to start including some biographies in our read-alouds, so not necessarily all fiction. So I do have uh, this one. The Door in the Wall. When the Soldiers Were Gone. This is what takes place after World War II and kind of the aftermath of that and how people are kind of like readjusting after Nazis. And then these akimbo books. So we read Akimbo and the Lions at the beginning of this year and my children really enjoyed it. So I bought the uh, next four. This is the whole series plus Akimbo and the Lions. And so if we um, have time during the summer, I might start these. So... That's this. I have Akimbo and the Baboons, Akimbo and the Elephants, Akimbo and the Snakes, and Akimbo and the Crocodile Man. So those should be really interesting. Those are all of the read aloud uh, books. Oh, no they're not. Sorry. 
three more. Lassie comes home. And then I've never really had like Christmas read alouds, right? We've always just kind of read what we were reading during the month of December. But I wanted to have like specific Christmas books. So I got this picture book, Holly and Ivy. And um, it's not like necessarily a short picture book. There's, there's a hefty amount of text in here. So that'll probably last us a week or two. And then I got this one, The True Gift. So I think that will be really cute for um, right after Thanksgiving and up to Christmas. So now I'm done with our family read alouds. The next ones I have to show you are for my kindergartner coming up. We bought all of the new board books from The Good and the Beautiful. So here's The Forest, Ocean, Birds, Pond, Mammals, and Insects. So her and I will read through these together. And then I bought these nature readers. So I have the beginning uh, level for my first Africa reader, beginning level my first nature reader, level one my second nature reader, and then level two my third nature reader. I bought all of these just because we don't have them and I know that we're gonna be using them with her in the coming years. So we'll probably try to get through these two this year and then um, if she wants to we can go on to these or we can just wait for next year to read those. So that's for my kindergartner and then for her I just have her read for 10 minutes. I don't require too much like reading from her. First of all she can't read. Second of all I just want it to be like enjoyable for her. So um, I'm letting her kind of choose what she wants to read although I do have these for next year. Going on to my daughter. She is eight. She will be nine and I've kind of finally found out what her interests are. Um, so I've I've <laughs> tried to cater these as much as I can to that. But there are some books in here that I really do want her to read. So the first one is the Violet Mackerel um, series. And there's eight of them. There's Violet Mackerel's Brilliant Plot, The Remarkable Recovery, Natural Habitat, Personal Space, <clears throat> Possible Friend, Pocket Protest, helpful suggestion and the formal occasion. This is a box set and then I had to buy all of the other ones separately. Next I have um, the entire Welly Wishers American Girl series. There's 13 books. I'm just gonna go through these really quickly. So Ashlyn's Unsurprise Party. Put that down there. The Muddy, the Muddily Puddly Show. The Riddle of the Robin. Camille's Mermaid Tale, The Rainstorm Brainstorm, The Mystery of Mr. E, Willa's Wilderness Campout, Emerson and Princess Peep, The Clippity Cloppity Carnival, The Princess and the Dragon, Teamwork of Magic, A Fantastic Surprise, and Ready to be Royal. These are short enough that I know she could probably get through one of these and maybe two days, two or three days. So I, su I suspect this will not last long. Next, I bought the Light Keeper um, Girls box set. There are um, five books in here. It's 10 girls who used their talents, 10 girls who made history, 10 girls who made a difference, 10 girls who didn't give in, 10 girls who changed the world. They also have one about boys, and I'm probably gonna get that. Um, either for a Christmas present for my son or for next year maybe. So I have all of these. This Winnie the Early Years, there's an older Winnie series um, and I did not get that one. I wanted to start with this one. And so there are four uh, titles in this one. Horse Gentler in Training, A Horse's Best Friend, Lucky for Winnie, and Homesick Horse. So I got that one. At the homeschool conference that my husband and I went to, we stopped at a book booth where they were selling a bunch of books. And the author of this book was here, Honey Butter. And this is about a homeschooling uh, little girl and she meets someone who moves in next door. And I thought this was really cute, um, so I bought this one. And then the last series that I have for her is the Backyard Horses. And so Horse Dreams, Cowboy Colt, Chasing Dream, and Nightmare. 
My children are really into like a, like series right now. We are not super into like standalone books unless they're read alouds. So most of the things that I have for my children are series. Now going on to my son, he has a very large stack. And that's because two of the series that I have for him are very thick books. Um, he is going to be 11 at the end of the summer. And so he's really on that like cusp of like going from like kid books to like young adult fiction. I'm very weary about young adult fiction because that's a very wide genre. <laughs> um, but having said that, we'll just start. So we read Timothy on the 10th floor this year for his language arts and he loved it. At the very end, it said that there was a series coming out about the secret door. So I bought the, um, the series from The Good and the Beautiful. And he has already asked me if he could start reading it. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep him away from these. And then um, Frank Peretti, uh, they have one, the Cooper Kids Adventure Series. There's nine of these, I believe, and we just have the first four. Um, this is Trapped at the Bottom of the Sea, The Tombs of Anak, Escape from the Aquarius, and The Doors in the Dragon's Throat. This is the first one. I think I read those backwards. I did. Well, anyway, um, this is the series. I got the first four. These are like thriller adventure series, um, kind of what he's starting to get into. So I figured I would get the first four, and then if he liked these, I would get the next five to complete the set, and then um, he could read those as well. This is the only standalone book I have for him. It is in a series. The author just hasn't written it yet. Um, this is a really cute story about a homeschooling family, and the dad owns a chain of 7-Eleven stores, and he has the ability to talk to dogs. And so all of the dogs come to his 7-Eleven stores to tell them about uh, their problems, which is really cute. So um, we got this one. It's very, like, thin. It'll be a really simple read for him. The next one I got for my son is the uh, Totally True Adventure series. I only got five. And um, there's tons of these. And so if he likes these, I might think about getting some more. This one is The Curse of King Tut's Mum Tummy. Mummy. Mummy, The Curse of King Tut's Mummy, Balto and the Great Race, Climbing Everest, The $25,000 Flight, and Babe Ruth and the Baseball Curse. So I thought those were really cool. I got those for my son. The next one are The Tales from Maple Ridge. There um, are six books in this series, so I got all six of them. The New Kid, nope, let's do it in order, number one. Logan Price Makes a Mess, The Lucky Wheel, The Big City, The Ghost of Juniper Creek, Lost in the Blizzard, The New Kid. So there's six in that series. This next one is one of the thicker ones. There's six books right here. Um, the author has intended there to be 12, so he's in the process of writing the rest of the story. The reason my husband and I chose this, um, again, this was at the homeschool conference that we went to, and we talked to the author, and this story is basically um, an allegory for Christ and uh, I guess really the Bible in space. So um, we were like, he's like super into Star Wars right now. What better like crossover, right? So we have Nova is book number one, and Flight number two. Number three is Lore. Number four is Oath. Number five is Merchant, and number six is The Reclamation. This is the Star Lore um, Legacy, so there's six books in that one. The last one we have for my son is the Dragons in Our Midst series. There are four of these very thick books. Um, again, we got this at the homeschool conference as well, and we spoke with the author about all of the content in here, and this is right on the, like like 8 to 12 range, like 8 as far as like really advanced readers, 10 readers right on point, and then, um, you know, kind of that age range. So I said, you know what, I'll probably read these anyway, just to kind of go through it, but the first one is Raising Dragons, book two is The Candlestone, book three, Circle of Seven, Circles of Seven, 
And then the fourth book is Tears of a Dragon. He's starting to get into like fantasy, so like dragons and stuff also. So I was like, hey, this is about dragons, so we'll go with that one. And then the last one I just picked up, this is kind of for whoever wants to read it. This is Crooked Creek Ranch um, book two. They just released this with the opening of their new bookstore on the Good and the Beautiful website. Go check that out. There's so many cool things there. But we've read the first one. Both my um, eldest son and my, um, and my daughter have read the first one of this. So I bought the second one. If they want to read it, they can. And then the last one that we have, I'm not, it's not necessarily like read alouds, um, but it is part of the massive amount of books that I did buy. And we are going to do a missionary study this year through Not Consumed Ministries. And it is a, a study of 12 um, missionaries, and it's everybody in this stack, plus these three books. Um, now, these are also available for audio download, and so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be utilizing audiobooks for some of these. That way, we don't have to read all of them. But we are going to be doing a missionary study. These are the Christian Heroes Then and Now. So... Thank you so much for watching. I threw a lot of books at you. Um, if you have any questions about them, leave them in the comments. I got most of my suggestions for read-alouds and for books for my children off of the Good and the Beautiful book list. If you are not familiar with that, I highly encourage you to go and download it. It is free and they have a, like a good reading list and they have a do not read list. And the do not read list tells you why they put, put it on that list. Some of the times it's just language, and so if you're reading it, you can omit that language if you want to. Um, but I usually just go straight to there and get all of my read aloud suggestions from there, and I have not been disappointed. So, I'm going to put this massive stack of books somewhere where they can't find them because they have been dying to rip into these books. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!